Go on. Nothing to see here. Go on. Go on. Uh. Hello, everyone. Lorenzo here from RVT. So it's been a while. I'm going to be honest with you. It's been a while since I've checked on my bees. Um, I know I've been putting out videos and but you know they're kind of old so I've just been so busy I just installed the uh, one of the water spouts out there and then I've been working on my website um, so if you want to check out I, I'm done actually with the website so if you want to check that out it's going to be down below and uh, but yeah it's been a busy busy month for me um, my son he started uh, back up on in school and started doing competitions on the weekends for uh, shooting play shooting so that started back up and today it's kind of uh, got a little bit of overcast here um, it's gonna be uh, up on the uh, 90s it's not a, it's not gonna be as hot as it's been for a little while for a long time actually it's been like on the hundreds so hopefully I won't get too hot today my camera won't get too hot today uh, we'll see only time will tell but I'm gonna go ahead and get started uh, we're gonna be checking on hot number one uh, as you can see they still still have some bees going in and out um, today I'm gonna be kind of like prepping for you know the fall I usually close the uh, the entrance halfway on this hive I have one open all the way out and then uh, on the second entrance right here in the middle I have um, that one kind of like half open so I'm gonna be closing this one and uh, closing the other one halfway because I remember last year during this time of the year um, they you know, I started getting rob uh, robbing bees from other hives around, so I'm out of and try to protect from from that happening this year. So, uh, alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, open it up, see what we got going on. Like I said, it's been a while, so we'll see. <laughs> alright, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little bit of smoke. They're probably not used to me coming in, so. They're gonna be wild in there. Not used to it because it's been like a while. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I know this is gonna be packed with bees on this side. And this is gonna be sealed too, so. <laughs> Let's see. Got some high beetles here. A lot of high beetles. I didn't forget the mints today. I've been forgetting the mints for for a while now. Well, I don't know why I stopped re stopped recording. I guess I pushed the. Uh, the S pen button by accident in my pocket. So there's some smoke in there. They're probably like, what the hell's going on? Since these bees haven't they haven't seen me. I'm pretty sure that they cycle out already from the last time I checked. Have a lot of high beetles here. A lot. Yeah. This thing is infested with high beetles. 
right, I'm gonna put that aside. I think I, today I'm going to remove this frame if the population is right. Give them less space. Start preparing for the uh, winter. And I did find my hive killer. on the floor today. I'm not on the floor, on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and let this population of high beetles Oh, trying to fly off. <laughs> Notice that they, they, they start expanding their wings once they try to when they try to fly off. And then this frame is clear. Okay, I'm going to take this one out. So you can see all the hot beetles that are killed. And that's how it is here in this area, I guess. But I'm going to go ahead and knock those out. They're all dead. Shit, I don't want to lose this again. I mean, shoot. <laughs> I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> so this frame is going away. They didn't draw it out anymore. So um Yeah. This one is going away. So I'm gonna shake the bees out. Got that one there. What I'm also going to check is make sure they don't have swarm cells. I know that uh, in the past they've been we keep beekeepers were told that they don't swarm. The swarm season is over, but. It's actually not over <clears throat> from what I heard lately. So, because I'm high beetles on this one, a lot of honey. Oh man, they, they flew off. The uh, the pinchers are getting. They're getting stuck together, so. Oh, 
Nope, that one was trying to get back in there. Yep, that one tried to fly off. I'm glad I brought some mints today. Because there's a lot of them. Alright. Goes like this. I'm gonna put this one back. I'm gonna take this one out too. beetles. Yep, I have one right there. I'm gonna kill that one and then that one flew off. Darn it. Oh god. I know I saw one in here. There it is. Not too high for me. I am sweating. Hot. Gotta clear that propolis and wax. Of my pinches. I'm surprised that they're not too aggressive right now. This one looks like half honey. I think they still have brood down here at some point. Honey up here, brood at some point right there. And you can tell by the color. See any high beetles here? Ooh, I thought I squeezed one beat down there. False alarm. Oh, I this one was like this. Oh my god, one fatality. Oh, I think I have another fatality down there.
Anyway, I'm a. That's where this is where the brood starts. Right here. So you can see. So this is where I start checking for. Oh, uh, so. Themselves. Well, at least I know that they're not starving. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, Chris. Trying to put this back together as I go. We don't. I can just slide everything at once without killing a lot of bees. There's one down there that's dead, so they're trying to. I don't know what they're trying to do. I dropped it. Don't. They're just trying to tend to it. Not realizing that they can, that one can come back. I don't see any beetles on the. Uh, Regular flames, I see a larvae. I still see some drones. That still looks like a queen cup to me, but it might be just a drone cup. I don't know. They have some propolis. Now we can just slide it. Now this one usually takes me a longer time to check on it because uh it's bigger <laughs> and uh, and this time I want to check it like really good I 
have a bee flying around my head. I don't know if it's curious or what. Oh, this one has honey in it. It has honey on it. It has the uh, um, artificial comb. I don't see the queen here. Well, they have a lot of honey on this one. I uh, think I need to move this one to the honey section because I saw some brood before this one that they, they don't usually do that. I just want to make sure I don't move the queen with it. I'm gonna put it right here for now. Uh, I'm gonna make that one my first uh, my first honey frame. See any queen cups? I see like all honey. And I don't see the queen yet. Looks like we have a lot of bee bread on this one. I see some uncapped larvae these gloves are too big for me I know I keep saying that I need, I need to get some new gloves but I haven't gotten to that or I had to budget for anything else right now but <laughs> let's see here no queen see some bee bread on the bottom no queen Larvae. Don't know she's in there. I want to make sure that I don't kill my queen. So by accident, like I've been doing all the other bees that I killed by accident. That's why I'm looking in there before I mess with the frame. At least check one side. Don't see the queen.
can see right there won't be with the pollen right there I'm trying to figure out where to put the the pollen in now the brood is looking kind of spotty but I've also heard that during this time of year sometimes you know the queen starts to slow down before preparing for the uh, the winter bees I mean we still uh -oh. I got one bee trying to sting me on my face <laughs> got one that I remove that odor from the mean bee <laughs> This one has high beetles in it. They're harder to kill because there's a lot of bees here. No queen. She's probably on the side somewhere. See some pollen, I guess he fell off the frame. <laughs> oh shoot, this one is heavy. Oh god, this one is infested with Hot beetles. Let me check, make sure the queen is not in here. Oh my god, this one is infested with hot beetles. I'm just pinching them as fast as I can. I'm destroying the comb, but that's fine. They can repair that later. One eternity later. Well, the bees are attacking the the data. 
the dead ones that I'm dropping there. <laughs> I'm gonna put them back. I don't even know how this frame goes. I'm gonna put it in there. All right, so this is the results of it. Got a lot of high beetles there. Accidentally took out a a bee. I checked, make sure the queen wasn't on there, so she was not on there. Um, I actually didn't see the queen, so. I'm just gonna put it back together before I do that. Oh, I'm gonna throw some mint in there. Yeah, I don't know where my queen is. They have plenty of larvae, so. Am I still recording or? Yeah. I think I'm gonna throw some extra ones in there because there was a lot of them. I'll make him go down. Oh my god, they want to squeeze through the smallest hole because the thing is, it looks cool in there. Yeah, look at me, I'm squeezing through the smallest hole. Move. 
Well, I didn't know that worked. <laughs> I'm going to throw another one here. I'm gonna move the I was gonna move the uh, this frame as a first honey frame so I had to find out which one is the last uh, brood frame Oh, I got a stinger. So, so I got a stinger right there. Where's it at? Right there. I don't know if I can see it. So you just have to smoke it out. Remove it with a hot tool. Well, I didn't see the queen. That's not good. I wanted, I wanted to see if, uh, you know, the queen was still, I mean, she's still producing. I mean, I saw some larvae in there. I didn't see any eggs, though. get stung today. Okay. okay. Alright, so this is where I'm gonna put this frame at. This frame with honey. I'm gonna put it right here. Then I must get all of this things back over here. Nobody's there. Oh, yeah. There you go. Stick it together. Turn off the last frame. 
a little better seal. Throw some ants in there. Yeah, I gave them a little bit less space. Took out two frames that were just sitting there, taking up space, which I don't want. seal it move all this propolis What do you do with a propolis? You, I mean, I, I heard, you know, some people make uh, remedies for like cuts and stuff like that. They mix it with alcohol. I think they call it tincture, 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 something like that. So I want to know what do you use propolis for? If you can comment down below. I would really, really appreciate that. I uh, just had a fatality there. Go on, nothing to see here. Go on, go on. Walk. Go. On. There's a bee down there fighting a... <laughs> I got you, bee. It was fighting a uh, high beetle. I took a lot, I took care of a lot of beetles today. Oh my God, it was bad. What I'm gonna do is put Put two down there. I'm gonna put one here, right there. Since they seem to hang out over here on that area right there, that's where I usually see them. And now I put another one on the opposite side. I don't see them on the opposite side as often. But put one right there. There you go. See what they do there. Seems like I'm out. So all right, I'm gonna start wrapping this up. I like I like the smell of the propolis. Smell kind of minty. My wife, she hates it. <laughs> she hates the smell of propolis. Yeah, it's got a big one right here. So, yeah, that's my question. What do you use um, propolis for? Besides. Uh, what I said earlier, like they call it tenure, tincture, something like that. T 
to keep uh, for uh, cuts and stuff they mix it with alcohol a certain amount of um, proof on it so if you have something else let me know I'm interested to know I really appreciate it all right I'm gonna go ahead and start closing the shop here See a helicopter over there circling. I don't know if y'all can see it. It was coming this way, and they turned around. They saw me. I was like, oh crap, beast. Turn around. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Make sure I didn't leave anything in there. What is that? Oh, it's a dead high beetle. I can't have any high beetles in here. <laughs> Alright, so I'll close that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and close this entrance right here. Oh man, they put uh they put propolis on it. Oh crap. Oh, okay. They put propolis in here. <laughs> they sealed it with propolis. Seal it with the vent out. This one has some propolis around it too. Because that's how they control their airflow. And this one. You know what? I'm going to give it another. It's supposed, temperature is supposed to go up. You have bees over here trying to get into that entrance. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, uh, close it a little bit. Not too much. Right about a three fourths of the of the way. All right, so I'm gonna check the other two halves. I'm gonna do that off off camera. I was just concerned of this big hive right here. Um, so, took out, there was a lot of high beetles in there. Put a lot of mints in there, see if that works. Um, took out two extra hives, I mean hives, uh, frames. That they're not being used, so I just uh, took them out. Um, probably save them for next year maybe put them uh one of the traps over there you know put some uh since that one has a uh, you know the smell of the bees already probably put a couple of frames over there those two frames over there on the trap um and then that's it i mean they're looking good um i didn't see the queen so we'll see over, let's see what happens with time because sometimes you know just this warm and you don't find out until like wait later so uh, that's that's gonna be it for this video if you want to see a sneak peek previous well YouTube uh, make sure you follow me on uh, Instagram I usually put post pictures there before YouTube uh, also make sure you like and subscribe uh, I <laughs> Also, make sure you check out my website. You know, it's a new new website just released uh, last week, I think it was. I've been working on that thing for a couple weeks now. Um, and that's it. Uh, if you want to see a video of me installing one of those water spouts, I'll probably do it anyway, but <laughs> even if you say no. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to be for this video. And thank you for watching.